Hey guys, this is your coach, Coach Michelle, coming to you live from Atlanta. I decided to share with you some information that was asked to me today or asked of me today. It was a question. The question was, why are entrepreneurs, well, not that's not the exact question, it was why are individuals, right? People that are looking to become entrepreneurs getting into the private duty home care industry. And I thought about it. I thought about myself back in 2013. I thought about my clients, some of my clients. And I said, hmm, this is a great question. So I decided to bring it to you. So the question is, again, why are individuals, why are entrepreneurs flocking, yes, in droves, yes, coming over to the home care industry? And I, I, and I answered it. And I said, you know what? There's so many different type of people that are getting into this industry. Um, there are people that are getting into the industry because they've cared for a loved one. They may not have been happy with the level of care received from a caregiver. They may have said, um, wow, this is really awesome. I, I want to be able to provide this level of service to other people. And then they start doing their due diligence. And then they say, wow, instead of being a caregiver, I actually want to have an agency and have a, a team of caregivers doing this. Right. And then we have people that. Um, are strictly business minded and want to get into a lucrative industry, right? And the home care industry is extremely lucrative, guys. And, uh, you know, there's a question that came to my mind when I just mentioned that is that so many of you ask me and my team, is it a lucrative business? Can I make money? Because there's so many people, like I said, in droves coming into this industry. And the question is, the answer to the question is absolutely. Absolutely. There's so many seniors, guys. That's another reason why people are transitioning from work, right? So people are retiring, people are, you know, um, resigning, people are doing a lot of different things to transition into entrepreneurship. And they're coming over to this industry because it is lucrative. It is not saturated. Saturation is um, something that we tell ourselves when we're fearful. Right. Saturation is something that we tell ourselves when we're fearful because we're giving ourselves an excuse. Right. So now that's another video. You guys could go check me out on Facebook. I am Coach Michelle. I'm always giving mindset tips and things like that. So back on track here. Um, also, there's individuals that are passionate about caring for others and they really feel that it's their their gift from God to provide service to serve. Right. So a lot of people get into this industry because they want to serve and they're really passionate about serving others. Right. So we have it's a lucrative business. You can make a lot of money, guys. Um, um, a passionate um, uh, person loves to get into this type of business. Caring for someone that may have passed away, you know, from a terminal illness or something, and then you just really wanted to make a change within the industry. And then most importantly, it's the need-based business, guys. You, you, there's no way you cannot make money when you are in a need based business, meaning there's an issue out there in the universe. There's an issue in your community and you provide a solution. So once you provide a solution to an issue, then of course you're able to make money. It's just very, very simple guys. There's always going to be people, women, right? Always going to be women having babies which means there's always going to be a need for daycare, right? There's always going to be seniors, which means there's always going to be a need, need for senior services. There's always going to be a need for a funeral home, right? Because people are always going to die. So I'm giving you examples of need-based businesses. Just in case you watch this video, I know many of my followers watch me that are not necessarily in the home care industry. So I just wanted to give you some examples because it's very important to create as you make that decision to transition out of your um, job, your employment um, career, right? You want to make sure you go into something that is a need-based business so you know there's always going to be what, guys? A need for that business. And then lastly, um, it's in high demand. I mean, there's more seniors now than ever before. And every day, there's more that needs service. And when we think about service, a lot of times we specifically think about the senior guys. In this industry, in the home care business, there's so many different type of clients that can potentially, potential clients that would need your service. And I'll talk about that in my next video. I'll talk about the different type of clients that um, could potentially need your service because so many of us just focus on seniors, right? So it's very important, guys, to understand that I want to go back to saturation. Let's, let me give you some examples to think about. When you're driving down the road, 
and you stop at the stoplight and there's a gas station to your right. If you look, I'm pretty confident there's a gas station diagonally across. There may even be a gas station on the other side of the light, right? When you're driving down your street, especially, you know, in, if you're in a major city and you see a church on your right hand side, I'm pretty confident if you go a little further up, maybe a couple hundred yards, you're going to see another church. There may be a church right across the street. Right? So we're thinking about saturation. So I'm trying to get you guys to really understand that there's really no such thing when it comes to business, right? Because it's all about what you do in the industry to differentiate yourself, your services, your business, your caregivers from everyone else, right? And matter of fact, that's a great video to do as well. So if you guys think that's an awesome video for me to create for you, thinking about you know um, what type of business you can start as far as in your home care, how you can separate yourself from everyone else, how you can differentiate yourself and your services, put a comment below and let me know. And if you're extremely passionate, any of those things that I mentioned, if you're extremely passionate, if you've cared for, you know, a mom or dad or a loved one, if you just simply want to get into this business because it's a business move, right? You're ready to boss up. It's a business move. Then um, comment below, right? I want to know and then that will help me with the next video. I want to know what is it that you guys are thinking and what is pushing you into this whole home care industry where you really want to do it. Is it just simply because you believe it's your gift from God to serve the community, to serve seniors? And do you want to serve seniors? Do you want to serve children? You know, it's just so many, like I said, I'll do another video talking about that, but there's so many different types of people you can serve. So I just want to come on real quick, share that information with you guys and all also, um, if you like the video and you want to continue to get more videos, make sure you subscribe. Click the bell above and subscribe. And don't forget to like the video down below. In addition, we have an amazing program that we came out with. I say program, but it's really a, mem a membership. It's called the HCP Tribe, HCP Tribe Home Carepreneur, right? And we started it a little over um, a couple of weeks ago, right? We started it and it's simply amazing. We started it April of 2019 to be exact and I really want you guys to check it out because so many of you um, asked for more videos so many of you have contacted me you already started your business so you don't necessarily need the VIP program or full-blown coaching but you really want to be in a community of like-minded successful people and people that you can glean from people that you can learn from people that you can help people that you can um, you know collaborate with so we have an amazing community of like-minded entrepreneurs within the home care industry, and we're super excited and we'd love for you to check it out. You could go to uh, my website, which is myhomecarecoach.com, and then you'll see um, information there that, that says join. You can click on that and learn more about this amazing program that I'm mentioning. I keep saying program because it's so much information. The reason why I'm saying program, guys, this is a little bonus that you get within um, the HCP tribe is that I am always doing training. So whenever I'm doing training, I'm like, okay, this must be a program. <laughs> Because I, uh, I'm always training and I'm bringing professionals in there to train. So it's an amazing, amazing opportunity. And guess what, guys? Right now we have a special going on. It's only $7.77 to join. And it's $47 a month after that. There's no contract. We don't want to want you in a program if you don't want to be in a program. So we're not going to have you sign anything, committing you to anything. But it's a phenomenal opportunity to learn, learn, learn. It's extremely, extremely active. So you got to be on point and you want to be in there and participate, but it's a very, very active group and your scroll game. Yes, your scroll game got to be on point because we are always putting good information out every single day. So again, you can go to H, um, uh, look for the HCP tribe membership and that's on myhomecarecoach.com. Take care, guys. God bless. And I will see you in the next video. And I'm looking forward to the comments below. I want to hear from you. Take care. Bye.